So this is Brooke, she's very nice. And I have worked on her several times, but previously her problems have been in her front end. Today she's got some problems in the back. So we're gonna check out and see what's going on. And the walk doesn't look too bad, just a little stiff. It's just off, it's just weird, maybe heavy. Like she's not easy to walk. She's, it's effort for her to walk, especially the hind end. Okay, now here she actually looks off. She did not want to hold that trot. And if you watch the left hind, it's coming way over to the midline instead of traveling straight in front. We see our right hind wants to move to the inside and then out. So both of her hind legs are not traveling straight. Yeah, that left hand really hangs out in the back and is short strided. She's not bending her body on the circle. Okay, so she's sure wanting to stand on one foot. That's not normally a problem. You just want to keep it in mind. Of course, always wants to stand on one foot. That's a problem. Here, I'm trying to get a, a wiggle through her lumbar and nothing is moving. It should kind of wiggle like a snake. No wiggle over here either. And there's just nothing. And I'm really trying to pull it. Nothing. Okay, checking the sternum. So her sternum is not centered in her barrel. The barrel is not attached with a clavicle or a collarbone like ours is. So their barrel is supposed to swing. Like, right and left evenly. Now when the sternum or that breastbone is crooked like hers is, it won't swing. It just stays stuck. So that's definitely something you got to fix. That will also can affect the shoulders because if the barrel is shoved over to one side, then the shoulder kind of has to move around it. So let's see. Yeah, so this shoulder is it moving? It's supposed to move back. This is okay. I know, I know. No, it doesn't want to go. All right. So I'm going to check the other one. This one moves. This one's fine. All right. So the pelvic symphysis is the base of the pelvis. There's two bones right and left, and they should be straight in the middle of the pelvis. Hers is not, hers is like, what? Like she did the splits or something. So her hip joint is tight, sacroiliac's not too bad. Sacrum's not moving energetically. Tail head's not right. Yeah. Now this sacroiliac is Totally locked up. Hip not moving. Pelvic symphysis, no. Just, just wrong, it's so wrong. Now I always start with the pelvic symphysis because it's like the foundation of a house. If it is not straight, then the whole rest of the house is gonna be crooked too. So sometimes you can spend way too much time fixing and aligning things on the top, but if the bottom foundation isn't flat, it won't hold. What I'm trying to do with her right here, let's check her occiput. Her occiput's the back of the skull, right up in here. And it just needs to do this tiny little movement, but she's reluctant to let me do it. So that in itself is a sign there could be a problem. She's also generally nowhere near this fussy. See, as soon as I go to pull that a little bit, she's all fuss, fuss, fuss. Yeah. Yeah, she doesn't like it. All right. And that's not her normal. Some horses are fussy, but she's not normally like this. So let's try to fix that, huh? I think she's actually so processing. That licking and chewing, that little bit of blinking. The nose thing there's more licking and chewing. Okay, so I don't know if can you see this move now? Yeah. 
much floppier. Oh look, a wiggle. Very nice. Also very nice. See what I mean? When the bottom is even, then everything else can work. So now there's a wiggle. So this is normal. And you see how it goes all the way up to the neck. And I don't even, you can kind of get them going sometimes and they just wiggle. They should wiggle like that. Okay, so this is right after working on her. You walk back to the arena. She's looking more forward, more easy to walk, and even faster. So normally I like to give horses two days off. A lot of rest, moving around is good. But I also like to see what happens immediately. So far I'm liking how this is going. This is a lot different than the first time. She's got some real energy. So now I see her feet, her hind feet particularly, are going straight. Bending nicely, not traveling super weirdly. nice and forward. Is it perfect yet? No. But definitely more improved right after treatment. She's definitely much more willing to go. 